Hello everybody. Uh, in today's lecture, we will be dealing with uh, applying the uh, postulates of molecular orbital theory to the uh, heteronuclear diatomic molecules. Now, uh, so first uh, heteronuclear diatomic molecule is uh, NO. So you can see that nitrogen is one atom and that is combining with a oxy oxygen atom to form a molecule of NO. Now, uh, the atomic number of nitrogen is 7, the atomic number of oxygen is 8, so the total number of electrons in an NO molecule is 15. So let us see what is the electronic configuration of uh, the NO as per the MO uh, diagram. So here you can see that uh, uh, the, the MO diagram is representing the, all the atomic orbitals. So the 1s atomic orbital of uh, nitrogen is combining with the 1s atomic orbital of oxygen to give rise to a sigma 1s. 1x and the sigma star 1x. Now before I move to this MO diagram, you can see that the, the this left hand side represents the nitrogen atomic orbitals and the right hand side represents the oxygen atomic orbitals. Now uh, you can see that the uh, oxygen atomic orbitals, they have been represented as having a lower, slightly lower energy as compared to the nitrogen atomic orbitals. Now this is because of uh, the more electronegative nature of the oxygen atom. So please uh, uh, remember that in, in any type of heteronuclear uh, diatomic molecules, uh, the uh, more electronegative element or atom, uh, the, the atomic orbitals will be represented at a slightly lower energy level as compared to the other uh, atom. So in this case, the NO, the in the NO, the oxygen is more electronegative as compared to nitrogen. Hence, its atomic orbitals are shown a little lower as compared to the nitrogen atomic orbitals. So now let us uh, draw this MO diagram. Uh, that is the molecular orbital diagram. We can see that the 1s atomic orbital of nitrogen is overlapping with the uh, 1s atomic orbital of oxygen to give rise to a sigma 1s and a sigma star 1x. Similarly, the 2s atomic orbital of nitrogen has overlapped with the 2s of uh, oxygen to give rise to a sigma 2, 2s and the sigma star 2s. Now the uh, 2p uh, orbitals of uh, nitrogen has overlapped with the 2p of uh, oxygen to give rise to uh, uh, 6 uh, molecular orbitals. So that means here you can see that the lower energy level is sigma 2px, then the pi 2py, pi 2pz, then is coming the pi star 2py and the pi star 2pz and lastly the highest uh, uh, energy level belonging to sigma star 2px. Now let us see the filling. We can see that the two electrons and the two electrons in the 1s uh, orbitals, they are occupying the uh, uh, bonding and the antibonding uh, molecular orbitals. Similarly, the 2s, uh, two electrons in the 2s and the two electrons in the 2s, they are, they have uh, filled the, both the bonding and the antibonding molecular orbitals. Now let us see the uh, valence uh, orbitals. Now it's actually the valence orbitals that are involved in bonding. So in fact, these electrons or the, these uh, atomic orbitals, they play a major role uh, during the bonding. So you can see that there are three electrons uh, each in the 2p uh, uh, atomic orbitals and there are four electrons in the 2p atomic orbital of oxygen. So that means there are total of uh, 4 plus 3 that means it is 7. 7 electrons they are occupying uh, in this fashion that means the lowest at, uh, molecular orbital that is sigma 2px it has a 2 electrons then the pi 2py and the pi 2pz they are having 2 2 electrons each and uh, a, a single electron is occupying the pi star 2pz. Uh, so you can, you can represent a pi star 2py also or you can represent a pi star 2pz. It, it, uh, uh, it means one and the same thing. So that means uh, the bonding electrons, that means uh, there are uh, six uh, bonding electrons and one anti-bonding electron. So the bond order will be 6 minus 1 divided by 2. So it is coming to be uh, uh, 2.5. So that means uh, since the bond order is greater than 0, so NO molecule is stable. And NO, it is having no... Uh, um, uh, it is having one unpaired electron as you can see that it is there in the sigma star 2p uh, uh, sorry uh, the pi star 2p uh, z molecular orbital so that means the NO molecule is paramagnetic in nature.
Now let us see uh, the MO diagram of the NO plus. So you can see that the electronic configuration is uh, representing or the, of the NO molecule is representing six uh, bonding electrons and one is there in the antibonding uh, electron. Uh, so that means the, uh, when we uh, when we are considering the NO plus that means one electron is leaving the molecule and the, the electron that is present in the pi star 2pz that is the most probable uh, pathway for the release of the electron from the NO molecule to give rise to a NO plus. So that means the bond order will be uh, 6 minus 0 so that means no electrons are now there in the uh, antibonding molecule orbital so it means 6 minus 0 divided by 2 so it is coming to be 3 so that means the NO molecule uh, NO plus molecule it is a stable molecule that means it is it is having its existence and NO plus is diamagnetic because it contains no unpaired electrons now compared to NO NO plus has a higher bond order NO uh, we saw in the previous slide that it had a bond order of 2.5 now the NO plus is having a bond order of 3 so that means uh, 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 we know that uh, we, we have uh, uh, learned in the postulates of the molecular orbital theory that uh, the molecule having a higher bond order will have a lesser bond length. So that means uh, the NO uh, is having a lower bond order. So that means it will have a higher bond length. Whereas the NO plus it has a higher bond order. So that means the NO plus will have a lesser bond length and hence it will be more stable. Now let us come to the uh, molecular orbital diagram of CO and CO plus. So that means with the help of MO diagram, we will be able to explain the stability, the bond order, the, uh, the magnetic properties as well as the bond length of uh, CO and CO plus. So now let us consider this is a diatomic molecule uh, and this is a heteronuclear. Uh, we are considering two different types of atoms here, carbon and oxygen. So oxygen may being more electronegative. So while you are drawing the MO diagram, Diagram, please always remember that the more electronegative element or the atom uh, atomic orbitals will be shown at a lower energy level as compared to the other atom in the molecule. So now let us consider the atomic number of carbon is 6 and the atomic number of oxygen is 8. So the total number of electrons in the CO molecule is 14. So now let us see what is the electronic configuration. So we can see that it is sigma 1 is having 2 electrons, sigma star 1 is, is having 2 electrons, sigma 2s is having 2 electrons and sigma star 2s is having 2 electrons. The pi 2py and the pi 2pz both have 2 electrons each and they are of the same energy level. Then coming the sigma 2px is having 2 electrons whereas the other uh, molecular orbitals that is pi 2py, pi, 2P, pi star 2py, pi star 2pz they have 0 electrons each and the sigma star 2px is having 0 electrons. Now uh, uh, the bond or that means we are, we are seeing that there is a total of 6 uh, uh, bonding electrons and there are no electrons in the antibonding molecular orbital. So the bond order will be 6 minus 0 divided by 2. So it is coming to a figure of 3. So that means CO it's containing a triple bond. That means there, are, there is a triple bond between the carbon and the oxygen atom and this molecule has its existence. That means it's a stable molecule and since there are no unpaired electrons in the molecular orbital so CO is di diamagnetic. So now let us come to the molecule CO plus. So CO plus means one electron will be released uh, from the CO molecule to give rise to the CO plus. So you can see that there are no antibonding electrons. The last uh, 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 molecular orbital that is sigma 2px is having two electrons. So that means uh, the, uh, the, the most probable pathway with that is that one electron will be released from the sigma 2px. That means it is a bonding molecular orbital. So that is uh, as per the molecular orbital diagram of CO the most possible pathway is that one electron will be released from the bonding molecular orbital that is the sigma 2px. So that means let us consider the bond order so that means the, the total bonding electrons in the case of CO plus will be 5 and so that means it will be 5 minus 0. 0 why because there are no antibonding uh, electrons so that means 5 minus 0 divided by 2 will be giving a value of 2.5 so that means the bond order of uh, CO plus will be 2.5 
as 1 electron will be removed from the sigma 2 px. So we are getting the molecular orbital electronic configuration of CO plus like this. So that means here you can see that there is sigma 2 px is representing 1 electron. So that means uh, it is assumed that the CO plus will have a greater bond length and hence lesser stability as compared to CO. But experimental data reveals that the bond order of CO plus is found to be lower that means 1.115 angstrom while that for CO it was found to be 1.128 angstrom so that means this is a real data and this reveals that the, the CO plus is more stable as compared to CO so that means what is the reason behind this discrepancy so that means as per the MO diagram as per the MO postulates we, we should be getting the CO plus plus we should have a lower bond order as compared to CO but experimental data is revealing that the CO plus bond length so that means the bond order of CO plus will be higher as compared to CO so let us now see what is the reason for this discrepancy so the more stability of CO plus can happen only when the electron is released from an antibonding molecular orbital. So it is obvious that an electron will be acquiring a stable configuration only if an electron is released from an antibonding molecular orbital because the bonding molecular orbital electrons are more stable as compared to the antibonding molecular orbital. So that means this can happen only when the energy gap between the sigma 2s and the sigma star 2s molecular orbital is very large so that means you see the mo diagram of co plus you can see that the sigma 2s and the sigma star 2s is is this gap is the energy gap is very high so that means the first is sigma 2s we are then we are coming to pi 2p y pi 2pz then it is the sigma 2px and then it is coming the sigma star 2s so that means this electron uh, this molecular orbital is having two electrons so while forming uh, a co plus from a co so the most probable pathway is that this electron one of the electron is released from this antibonding molecular orbital so now let us see what is the bond order bond order is now the valence uh, bonding molecular orbitals is having a total electron of eight that means uh, you can see that this is two four six eight and uh, uh, one electron is released from the sigma star 2s that means one electron is left in the antibonding molecular orbital so 8 minus 1 divided by 2 so we are getting a bond order of 3.5 so that means this explains the higher bond order of CO plus as compared to CO and this explains the higher stability of CO plus as compared to CO and this also explains the shorter bond length of CO plus. Now let us come to the molecular orbital diagram of HCl. This is also a heteronuclear diatomic molecule and chlorine is being more electronegative. So that means you can see from this MO diagram, the chlorine has uh, atomic orbitals have been represented at a lower energy level as compared to hydrogen. So in the HCl molecule, we know that the 1s atomic orbital is having one electron and the 3p uh, uh, or atomic orbitals of chlorine is having a total of five electrons. So that means these uh, the, the, the most probable pathway is that the 1s atomic orbital of hydrogen and the 3p uh, atomic orbitals of uh, chlorine they will uh, combine because of comparable energy and symmetry. So these orbitals combine fairly effectively to form a bonding that means sigma SPX and an antibonding molecular orbital that is sigma star SPX. So that you can see that there are two uh, molecular orbitals formed as a result of the overlap of 1s and the 3p atomic orbitals. So this is the bonding molecular orbital that is sigma SPX and this is the antibonding molecular orbital that is sigma star SPX. And these two, uh, the pi orbitals, uh, molecular orbitals, they are non-bonding. Uh, that means the 3PY and the 3PZ molecular orbitals, they are non-bonding and they do not uh, uh, contribute to bonding. So the two valence electrons, so that means there are two bonding electrons here and there are zero anti-bonding electrons. So bond order will be 2 minus 0 divided by 2. So having a bond order of 1. So that means the uh, there is a single bond between hydrogen and chlorine and since there are no unpaired electrons the H HCl molecule is diamagnetic. So this is all about your uh, molecular orbital theory, the postulates and the application to the homonuclear and the heteronuclear diatomic covalent molecules. Hope you have understood this concepts. Uh, thank you for listening to me.